The Indian Space Agency, ISRO, has successfully accomplished a milestone of 100 rocket launch at 6.23 a.m. Indian Standard Time. The GSLV Mark II lifted off from the second launch pad at India's Satish Dhawan Space Centre in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. Now, since the time India began taking the nascent steps in launching rockets to space, the Satish Dhawan Space Centre spaceport has been India's gateway to the orbit. A short while ago, the 42010 rocket carrying 2.25 tonne satellite lifted off majestically amidst the haze at the sunrise hour. And this is the 17th launch mission of India's GSLV Mark II rocket and also the eighth flight of this variant with an indigenous cryogenic stage. The GSLV Mark II rocket carried the NVS-02 satellite, an Indian-built navigation satellite that is meant to serve civilian and defence users. The NVS is the second in the series of five satellites that are planned. Navigation with the Indian constellation Navic is India's independent regional navigation satellite system. It is designed to provide accurate position, velocity and timing service to users in India and also in its vicinity. Simply put, it is a service that is similar to the American GPS. The NVS series satellites are meant to augment the existing Navic series services that are, provide, that are provided by an earlier generation of satellites. And beyond Siddharth MP spoke to Dr. V. Narayanan, the chairman of ISRO, listening to what was said. Joining us, ISRO chief Dr. V. Narayanan. Sir, for you, it's uh, Century on debut. On your first launch, you uh, uh, have a Century launch. And also, this is 40 years of your service for ISRO. How does it feel? It is a great, exciting moment. In fact, when I joined ISRO, uh, four SLB rockets were completed. So I joined in the ASLB activities. That means out of this hundred, I had the opportunity to work in a smaller level and in a bigger level for almost 96 uh, uh, missions. So it is a great journey. Not I am going to complete on 31st, 41 years of service in ISRO. It's a great feeling and great journey. So as chairman, what are your top priorities, be it uh, rockets, be it satellites, commercialization? My top priorities, it is not only my, it's the organization top priorities, sir accelerating the approved projects like Chandrayaan 4, Chandrayaan 5, new next generation launcher development, space station development, and uh, the new technology development, accelerating the approved projects including advanced. And executing the approved systems, uh, like we have to uh, commission this Navic system, so we have to place some more satellites, and we have to serve the common man through the disaster warning and mitigation. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.